Hey y'all, how you doing? How are my viewers today? So I'm super excited today, y'all. I have with me Kimmy B. And she, well, I'm gonna be, we're going to be interviewing her. She's a Christian rapper. And I want you guys to give a big welcome to Kimmy B. Hi. Hey. Hi, hon. Oh, lovely to see you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so get yourself comfortable. So was it okay to get here? Were you good? Okay. All right. I'm going to, yeah, it's okay. So tell me a little bit, tell me a little bit about, tell me about you. Tell me where you're from. I'm from Toronto. I was born and raised in Toronto. I've lived all over the place, though. I had a bit of a rocky childhood, so I've been all over in little outskirts of the city. Um, uh, but, yeah, I, I kind of had a hard life. So I was, I was living in the country. I was living on the streets. I, I mean, I've been around. Yeah. Right. And um, so you're a Christian rapper, right? Yes. Okay, so tell us about that. Tell us how you got into rapping. So I always wanted to be a singer, um, and Mariah Carey was a huge inspiration to me all my life. Um, her music saved me when I was a child, like just her words, her faith. I wasn't raised in a Christian home, um, and I really didn't hear Christian things growing up. Um, but Mariah Carey, her music always had something of faith on her album, like the, the fluffy songs that you hear on the radio. Well, Hero was a big song right, that right. really ministered to me as a young child. Um, and <clears throat> yeah, I just, uh, I just really wanted to, I, I wanted to be a singer. I loved singing along to Mariah Carey music. You know, I thought I could sing like Mariah Carey. Obviously I can't. <laughs> and I just really had this, um vision of me working with her and I believed it wholeheartedly as a child and it was like anybody that told me like you're crazy or that'll never happen or you know you're dreaming I was like yeah and watch it come true like and I just was like you're crazy to not believe in me um she really helped install a faith in me and gave me a love for music and with my family struggles I just held on to her music and it was just a huge um inspiration in my life so that's where my my love of music came from was just um being heartbroken and family matters and just um mariah's voice actually so how long have you been how long you've been rapping and how long you've been performing with the music how long you've been do doing music well, the funny story is that when I was about eight years old, I was a part of this group called That's Entertainment, and it was like an after-school group, um, and we would like write songs and perform them at different venues around the city, like old folks' homes or just different art centers or at the school or whatever, and it was a pretty pop-in after school program and it was only for like a limited amount of children so I was very happy to be in that um, we performed on breakfast television and the funny thing is is that the first solo I ever did was a rap solo and we wrote this song called don't throw your junk in my backyard it was like a environmental day performance that we did and we were performing at school one time I was eight and nobody I guess the the person that was supposed to originally rap it wasn't there. And so everybody was kind of passing the mic, like, oh my God, who's gonna do the rap? Who's gonna do the And somehow it handed up in my hand. And here I was rapping. And I can remember just looking into the audience and seeing a couple people's faces that was just like, Kim's on the mic rapping. And it was kind of like a shocked look. Like the funny thing is I I still never I never seen myself as a rapper. I never seen myself becoming a rapper. I never wanted to be a rapper. It never even like stuck with me or was like it was just something that happened, but it was it was I look at it now as like God's foreshadowing cuz he probably always he obviously always knew. But I didn't and I didn't expect it. Um so when I was living on the streets, um because I lived in foster homes for a bit and then I, I and then I ran away from every foster home they put me in and then eventually before I was 16 I was out on the streets and I started writing bars like I always had my paper and my pen and writing was always my you know expression like my way to get out my feelings and um, I was a really good poet like I always wrote really good poetry in school and got like awards or top prize for like my poetry or you know this and that um and I just started writing bars, like pages and pages and pages of bars, but I still never seen myself rapping it. It was just for me, just a way of expressing myself. Uh, it wasn't until 
sorry, I have such a long story, <laughs> but it is so, it's such a unique story. But like I got married when I was 19 and my husband was a rap artist and I started making beats for him. So that's where I kind of started getting into the music myself and actually taking a step and like doing something with the music. And I started learning how to make beats and I was making his beats. And then we were doing music in the church. It started going really well, but then he went back to jail. And um, I started, I went to college for um, recording arts. And then after I got out of college, I was recording people in my home, rap artists to my beats. And then one day my friend left and I was like, let me try this. And I got on the mic and I tried it and I sent it to my friend and he was like, that's you? Like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I guess I better start. So, wow. Yeah. wow, what a story. That is amazing. My God, my God. So, so now, okay, so now you you started rhyming. So how long ago was that? Like, how long have you been doing that? About, um, I guess I was about 24. Okay, all right. So, Okay. All right. And um so when you when you when you when you want to when you want to create, when you want to write, what inspires you to write? Is there is there a, a, a secret place that you go to write or is there a is there like a, you know, something that you do before you write to get inspired? Um well, now that I have 3 kids, I really don't have any secret space. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish that I had a secret space where I could go in, right? But um, I'd say, honestly, um, it can be anything where I'm very emotional, whether it's happy, sad, stressed, um, discouraged, but like I'll push something out of that. Um, so like my first song that I ever recorded professionally ended up making it to radio. And... Um, I wrote that song while I was pregnant with my second child, or no, sorry, my third child. I was pregnant with my third child when I wrote that song and I was alone, very stressed, very heartbroken. Um, and yet, if you hear the song, it's called I Made It and it's a very inspirational song. And it's it, it speaks as like into the future, like I was imagining how it will feel when I make it how it will feel to, you know, when you when your perseverance pays off and all that kind of stuff. So I wrote it looking into the future. It wasn't, I had not made it at all at that time. And that was the first song that I recorded professionally and it, and it actually made it to Christian radio. Wow, that's amazing, cool. So the the beat playing in the background now, um, we have your beat for your track, um, They Watching. Let's talk about that. Tell me a little bit about that and tell me um, how you got inspired to write that and tell me about who produced the track. Um, so the producer is named Dynasty, the artist. He's a, a Torontonian producer. <laughs> um, he's a phenomenal um, producer. He's a musical genius. Um, so he actually, I connected with him at a recent performance that I did and um, his family is a Christian family and he um, his music isn't so Christian, um, but he is a Christian. <laughs> you know, he's just got to, you know, anyways. So <laughs> he's still living a little bit. Anyways, um, we love him. God bless him. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he produced it. He's, he's phenomenal. He's an incredible talent. And um, he sent me some beats. And um, we were working together, actually, at my, at my house. He produced a song for me for another track I'm working on called The Devil is a Liar. I've, I've tried to produce this song over and over and like stuff just keeps coming up against this song. Like, and, and it's, and it's so crazy. There's a, that's a whole other story, but anyhow, he produced this song for me in like a half an hour and like, I was blown away. This guy is so awesome. So anyways, he's, he, um, produced this track. It's called they watching and, um, he brings this swag with them and it just kind of his energy rubbed off of me. So this song is very swagged out compared to some of my other songs, which I like because um, it fits in with, you know, the what's going on today. Um, so, yeah, They Watching is kind of about it's it's just saying, like, I know people are watching me. I'm very passionate about my faith and I'm very expressive about my faith. And I I know that people are watching because I've been so expressive, like I said, my whole life about my dreams, I was never believed in. My family did not believe in me. They thought I was lunatic. Like my mom even put me in juvenile detention when I was a teenager and 
had me assessed to see if I was crazy because she said I was crazy that I lived in a fantasy world and there was like a lot of um, heartache there. And so it's that's kind of always been something on me. Like I know that they're watching. I know that they're waiting to see what God does with me. So that's kind of like it's a swaggy way of saying it, but there actually is a lot of heart behind the lyrics. Wow, your girl, your story is is totally deep. And I just want to say, you know, like people, humans are all human beings are different and all different live different lives and lifestyles and were raised and brought up a different way. That doesn't mean that you cannot have your light shine bright like this like the sunlight and become something great no it just what i'm trying to say is it doesn't matter how you were raised or how you were brought up once especially when you align with jesus christ we know that he has a power like no other that can let your light shine so bright to the world they won't even know what hit them so girl don't i just don't i just want to say don't you know like i what i say can't heal your past but i just want to say that you know god is god has you he loves you he always did no matter what you went through no matter what family or friends or acquaintances or co-workers have put you through just know that your future is bright and god loves you okay just know thank that thank you sister thank you so much <laughs> yes all right girl yes yes um all right so can you tell me what do you you have you said you have like two projects you're working on what are the other projects you're working on and tell tell us like when like a timeline when you think it's going to be coming out so that my viewers can look for it sure um, I have an album out already. It's on Spotify and every other platform. It's called Fly. Um, so I go by Kimmy B and um, my album is called Fly. Um, my new projects, uh, this project, I'm actually just mixing it. It's almost done. Um, it should be out within the next month. Um, so by by the end of January, it will be all over every platform. I don't have a date yet. Um, just doing the final mixing process. Um, the Devil is a Liar. Um, I... I had a bit of a, a feature hope uh, for the song that I don't know if it's going to come through yet, um, but it's somebody pretty mega um, that a lot of us would be familiar with from the old rap days. Um, I don't want to say just in case it doesn't come through. No, it's not. It's an American. Okay, okay. We'll just say like, what? <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to come through. Okay. So I'm praying, um, <laughs> um, but you know, he kind of took a Christian turn. Yes. Yes. So I see him perfectly aligning with your music. Oh my gosh. I'm, I, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. Yes. Um, yes. it's in, it's in the works a little yes. bit. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, the song's still great. I'll still put it out with or without him, but keep that in your prayers. Um, if that is, uh, meant to be, I believe it'll be, but that's kind of in the works. So the devil is a liar. Um, uh, if, if that doesn't work out, regardless, it'll all be out by the end of January. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. All right, girl. So, you know what? I just want to say, any last thing that you want to say? Um, so, let the, let the, let the, let, let my viewers know your, your IG, which is at, well, I'll let, I'll, I'll let you guys know. It's at Kimmy B Fly on IG. Um, any other platforms that you want to um, let the viewers know so they can find you? That'd be great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just on Facebook, Kimmy B, um, Instagram, Kimmy B Fly. Um, and B Fly is not because I think I'm so fly. It's a Mariah Carey fan tag because her fan club was called Honey B Fly. So when I had to come up with an Instagram name, it was just Kimmy B Fly. And maybe she'll see that and maybe she'll know I'm her biggest fan. <laughs> so it was strategic, um, but it's not a vain comment calling myself so fly or anything because I'm really actually quite a humble person. I don't talk about myself like that. Um, so yeah, uh, and then I called my album Fly so that it would also kind of, I was also trying to be strategic with that. Like it's all strategy to try to get Mariah's attention if she were to ever see me out there. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm on Spotify, Tidal, iTunes, um, every major music platform. My album is on there, YouTube. Um, my channel on YouTube is KLoveBFly, K-L-U-V-B-F-L-Y. Um, I have a couple music videos out and um, yeah, that's where you can find me. Girl, 
It was blessed. Thank you so much for coming out. I want to say thank you and I wish you all the best and much success. You can always come by again if you have a track that you want to premiere. All right. So you guys go stream her track. Um, they, they, they watch in. Um, you heard all our platforms. Go check her out and you guys, you know, be blessed. Thank you so much.